Hello there everyone, it's Kingsoft back again with a brand new video. It's been a long time, a really, really long time since I spoke on this subject, but I still to this day get messages on Instagram, on Twitter, occasionally on Discord, which you can find my socials obviously down below in the link tree. I've got everything there. And that was, what were your favourite moments of phase one training? So for those who don't know, I was in the British Army. Originally, I did seven years before transferring across the RAF. And I still speak to quite a few different people, people I used to work with, people I went for training with, I still speak to them. Some of them are still serving, some of them aren't, some of them are transferred. And it was just an experience. But th favourite things of phase one training, number one, which sounds really weird, was just learning something new that I wouldn't have learned in civilian life like even down to everyone says oh like you're using your rifle that's an amazing thing to do it's it's a good skill to have i guess but it's also like your like chemical uh cbr interest your chemical biological radiological nuclear training your bcd your battlefield casualty drills training all these things i wouldn't have necessarily have learned being a normal civvy job you wouldn't have learned them and it was always interesting hearing people who had been in for years ahead, who'd been through situations where they've had to actually use them skills in real life situations. So hearing their stories was something I really, really enjoyed. Second thing, of course, was going on the range. Um, I remember we did, it was a range week we had in my phase one in Winchester. And for that week, you felt each day your skills getting better you were like getting told instantly, you were like, okay, go prone. Okay, you'd know, you, so like 100 metres, you know you were going to hit the target. Whereas when you first started on like a 24 metre range, you were like, oh, I don't know whether I'm going to hit it or not. But when you get to a certain point of doing it that often, sort of thing, like a whole week, but then by the last day when it's the actual test, you're absolutely smashing it. And I, I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed work on the range. The third thing was just spending time with the lads. I, when I was, before I was in the military, I wasn't really much interested in having a big social life, <laughs> being a, a big outgoing person. But when we were in, I think it was 10 man rooms or 12 man rooms, uh, uh, 10 man rooms, sorry, it was 10 man rooms in Winchester. You got to know everyone, their story before they joined, why they joined, their likes, dislikes, hates. Their, but the main thing, was their music taste. And that might sound really, really confusing. It didn't matter. In our heads, in my section, it was like, it didn't really matter what, how you ran your life, what you did beforehand. If your music taste was not it, that was going to be a problem. It was a big issue. So like with us, we used to have like a big speaker in the middle between two sides of the room. And each day would be like a different person's chance to pick the music, which... Was it was really good. You get, I guess you get to know what people were like beforehand. Like we had one bloke who really liked like heavy rock. One person liked rap. One person liked classical. I used to just whack on the radio. So like I used to have my goes on like Sunday. I used to whack on like I think it was like Heart FM. I used to whack it on, and instantly it'd be like the old school classics, so like be biggest hits for the, like the first thirty years. I just whacked that on because I couldn't be bothered to put my music. But the radio where people talking, it was good, and having that banter between the lads i don't think you actually get it anywhere else once you spent like 14 weeks around these people it's you know when people are feeling down you know when they're feeling up and you can build each other up and all around you if they need help you're there to give a hand so like with me for some reason i kept struggling with um I remember I tried to quit smoking during phase one, which is probably a bad decision. I shouldn't have done that because it's a very stressful place to be in. I remember trying to quit and I was like, even little things I was struggling with because obviously I was withdrawing off the nicotine and whatnot. You'd have the blokes come up to you like, mate, come on, I'll help you out. And they literally would have sit me out, they'd go through things, sort of like I had one lad who really struggled with uh, BCD. So I'd sat there and went through everything that I knew off my head. I'd help him with it. I struggled with like, infield stuff so the bloke who i used to get partnered with in like the shell scrape was a bloke who's really good at it so you would always have someone to build you up and make you look better than what you actually are so that was one thing that i really really enjoyed and the final thing 
which is going to become a, a really weird surprise for most people, is drill. Yes, I know that's very, very strange to say. I thoroughly enjoyed drill, which makes it confuse a lot of people. Like, oh my God, when I was actually in, like, proper lot serving in a unit, I didn't enjoy it because I feel like it was just random reason you're doing it for. Whereas in phase one, you were doing the drill so you could get ready for your pass off. And it was it was amazing to me thinking about like day one, week one, people couldn't like do a left or right turn or about turn or anything like that. They just didn't know how to do it and they kept struggling. Some people couldn't even march properly, which made no sense. They were TikTok until like left foot, left arm at the same time, right foot. Oh God, it was horrendous. But then um, it became almost like it, it was weird watching the progression from day one, week one to the final day of like week 14. And it was amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed that. It was just good seeing how we'd all progress and how much we've almost grown up in a way. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. These are my favourite parts of phase one training in the British Army. It's been King's Laugh. If you want to see more British Army videos, leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon.